Not while I'm aware at Kongong. Yeah. You're just um, we're gonna drop this. We're gonna drop to drop them to every two come here. Kisiran is where I spend most of my teenage time, you know. So it's really a place I feel like I really connected with myself. However, to be honest, I used to feel it's also a bit far from the rest of the crowd. So I'd have to go and hang out with guys in Gong a lot. That's where most of my childhood was. <laughs> This place is a party story and nests. So you have to go the restaurant. Zapo Julie for a bar. Go get it. Take me here. You know what I'm saying? When I'm there, we're sitting next to the window. Mm. We make up drinks up, baby. Ah. Uh, eh? At the baby, we meet up with my boys. Sir, mm. now we are young. We have just turned 18, 19 now. We are feeling now to the role. So my boys are going to freeze. Hey, Naka, move. When he's a bono me freeze, he can be a boy. I'm in your honor. For when I come and say he's coming, and I come upstairs, and if Kevin had just told me I'm dead, so me and my three other guys who my boy knows go to the toilet and drop on me. And I'm in here, and I'm in your pack of the toilet. When you go up on that, you're blue. You know when I'm boy, I'm in on a drinks. Now you're at me as a drink, Mimi. I'm hearing my dad talking. Hey. hey, hi, how are you? Hey, what's up? Hey, I'm Maliza Metoka. Mm. You guys are like, he's gone, he's gone. So I'm like, I'm in Yona. I'm a genuine plot twist. I'm going to go to the I'm going to go to the corner. I'm going to go to the corner. I'm going to go to Dad, the know. whole squad. <laughs> Dad, <laughs> Dad, how are you? My relationship with my nephews and nieces is kind of like a father figure, and I didn't see them for some time, so I'm excited to be catching up with them. To me? Yeah. How are you doing? Are you good? Bro. Yeah, I'm good. Are you doing? <laughs> Sasa. Slowly by slowly they're beginning to get into their own lives. So this is also a special Easter to, you know, just bond with them and catch up with how they've been going and how they've been doing. Easter than you Easter, you know, everything. Yeah, straight, straight. Kuku leo ndo hiyo. Straight, there's some Nyama. kuku there. Mm. Some, you know, what you call as Makawaru. Purero, Purero, Purero. Hey, because you are our guest. Mm. His character definitely changes around his family, and also you can see the kind of joy he has just hanging around his family. Seeing my mom there, my sister, you know, I'm just feeling this is just, this is just a good vibe. Dig in. Karibu guys, karibu guys. Dig in. Dig in bro, dig in bro. We can't ambush you. Compliments to the chef. This is the chef. Mona, like you were asking earlier, what Easter means to you guys? Easter to me is spending time with your loved ones. I could relate a lot with these young nephews and nieces. Have you guys ever like made yourselves a toy? Yeah. Yes. The For real? <laughs> oh, yeah. Go -kart? yeah. Which one? The big, nice go kart that was that was like too much flex, bro. The big one that has an inch, and an inch. Yeah, and yeah, and, yeah. and, uh, and oh, that was a hoverboard. No, a hoverboard. A, go -kart. A, go -kart. a proper go kart, but that was like a proper one. But that's yeah, that's, they did that's it a well. toy. Oh, that's wow. That's a big okay. Toy. <laughs> <laughs> because I was thinking about it, I'm like, like, like you know those like with Mabati and and Minis. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. They yeah, yeah. it. Yeah. How long did you do it for? Two years. For real? Yeah, like I'm just think about it, like, mm. and yeah, these guys have not made a lot has changed. Eh? Toys. Fairs. What's a fair? Fair. Fair, like, no, like catapults. Cata. Oh, no, no, the slingshots. Slingshots. Okay, slingshots. Exactly. Slingshots. Sorry, we have forgot. Yeah. Okay, like, points taken. To the son I might have one day, I love you already. 
but you are not the first boy who I've had to raise. You're not the first boy who I've had to teach right from wrong and you are certainly not the first boy who I've had to teach how to approach a woman. See, my job is to ensure that before I send you out into this world that you are right within and that you know how to respect people from their head to their feet and everything in between. My job is to ensure that you never see the color of your skin as a stain and that you learn to respect the lineage from which you came. And when they ask you who raised you, tell them that you walk with the confidence of a king because your mother praised you. When I learned how to walk, my mother says she hoped that I would learn to walk with her pride. She says that I would learn to step with her mother's stride. When I learned how to walk, my mother says she hoped I would learn to always go the extra mile. When I learned how to talk, my mother says she hoped that I would always learn to speak love into existence, even with the words that I scribbled in my books. My mother taught me to always look in the mirror if I ever forgot how God looks. When I bring my own children into this world, into this same ever-changing, uncertain world, I will teach them to give thanks for the things that remain constant, like gravity at least, or the fact that no matter what, the sun without fail still rises from the east. Maumbile haya badiliki. Dunia bado ni duara. I will teach my children that love is a verb as much as it is a noun. I will teach them that it's okay to be vulnerable that sometimes life is scary and that's a fact, but when I ask you how your day was, I need you to tell me exactly that. I will teach my children that dunia ni soko ya vitu vingi. I will teach my children that God is good all the time, even if all the time all isn't good, at least all the time God is always on time. I hope my children understand what I mean when I tell them that they should be dawn in a world full of midnights or that they should be the sun in a world full of dim lights. Because like the branch and the vine, the poet and the poem intertwine and we come alive. I will teach my children to never be afraid to raise their hands to answer questions. I will teach them that even if they are afraid of not being right, to speak with the same conviction God spoke with when he said, let there be light. <laughs> Hey, I'm gonna do it. Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it.